request new Patreon brother Michael Clark. Tales from the Dark Side. Which I remember the show. I remember Tales from the Dark Side because I remember how it came on. That's all I remember. It's an anthology movie, I'm guessing. Kind of like Tales from the Crypt. And that may explain this elaborate cast from Christian Slater to James Ramar. Let's pray, play, uh, let's pray, pray. Let's pray, pray. I'm going to have a pray, pray. And uh, we'll watch the movie when I pray, pray. Let's get into it. We'll talk a little more at the end. I have everything. Well, groceries for one. The good old days when I could buy one bag of groceries and that's all I needed. And then came the kids. What happened to that book I gave you? No, there's a crazy woman in there. She's gonna cook me. She's gonna eat me. <laughs> this is a TV movie. Maybe I should get started now. No, wait. There's plenty of time. You said this is your favorite book. Oh, so this is the when at the beginning the person is kind of narrating the movie to stop somebody from doing something. I just saw a movie like this, except it was a pharaoh supposed to kill this girl, and she was telling him stories to keep her alive. Me and my wife used to watch that. You know, Lee, I think the most work you've done in four years of college is filling out that application for the Penrose Fellowship. She said this is her favorite book, so don't she know these stories? Andy and Lee, they were real rich. Who the fuck plays with Frisbee that close to each other? The summer traveling Europe. Yeah. And guess who was my number one competitor for the Penrose? Well, you know Bellingham works part-time at the University of New Zealand. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Ah, uh, Andy. <laughs> Bush- young Bushimi. But not always the better man. You'll get your money back tomorrow. Oh, there's no rush. Now let's see if the embalmers did him any justice. Oh, you can unwrap them? Plan right on paying them. Over. Six, two more. <sighs> Andy's my brother. He won't do anything. He looks pissed off. But he's thinking. He's not thinking anything. That's really what you was looking for. So you're going to sell this. Why did you fucking cut all of the the pieces off if you're going to sell them? And I thought I'd stop by to see Andy on the way home. You don't care about those books or Andy. Julian Moore. Master can read that scroll. Dan, do you know how to read that? He gonna wake the motherfucker up, man. Come on, belly ass. I'd be pissed the fuck off. What the hell are you doing here? He like, hey, hey, the light. Hey, what are you doing here? So what you going there to do? To steal some shit from him? Your sister ain't shit. I hope you know that. I hope it come back to bite her. You sent them to kill these people, didn't you? Why else or how else would he know? Yeah, that's how I wake up when I've been drinking and somebody breaking in my house. This motherfucker walking around. A naked mummy is in your spot. A fucking tennis racket. That's why I love the 80s. And then look how you hold a damn tennis racket. You're not even going to hit him with the, the metal part. You're going to hit him with the fucking net with the strings. <gasps> Man, break his arm. This my Oh. Yo, he pulled his brain out his nose, bro. Redheads. They'll get you in trouble every time. Ah! 
Was that his brain on the fruit? This motherfucker closed the screen door. Guess I could use this, huh? One of the museum's most unusual pieces. Oh. Pretty. Now who are you coming for now? Your sister look, she like cold blooded. So you are rich kids. My bitch, I don't need this shit. Scissors, do you see what that motherfucker look like? And you stabbed him with scissors? How the fucking mommy know how to stab a bitch? <laughs> Susan is gone, boy. Bust through that motherfucker. Damn, he stuffed the flowers in her. Damn, that's fucked up. And you sent that mummy after them. Hey! Oh! 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 Damn, that shit worked out perfectly. You knocked the motherfucker out without breaking his glasses. He's a bad man. Damn, that's crazy. Send no light. Oh, you learned it? Open his eyes. Open Did you say it right? Oh, shit. What the fuck are those? Well, that just about takes care of that, doesn't it? I guess he knew what the fuck he was doing because he didn't seem afraid at all. All right, so you got the scrolls. You got everything. Oh, he's burning the scroll up. It's dark. Man, what's so fucking funny? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Boy, you better tell another story. Old man. His name's Drogan. Old man Drogan had this big problem. Old man Drogan? It's already taken care of, pal. Here, Mr. Halston, here. Sit down, Mr. Halston, and look in that envelope. Stop screaming at me. I need not explain anything. But I... There used to be four of us living here. The cat came. I want it out of here, Amanda. Either out of here or dead. Get it out of here, Amanda. I don't want that cat in here. I doll, my lord. Phenobarbin. Compound G. The cat killed them. I warned them, but they wouldn't listen. They found out. They found out. <laughs> Death by accident. The coroner said. Or locked the damn thing in her room. She became obsessed with the animal. I'm going to kill it! You won't get through that door. She died at midnight as well, suffocated in her bed. Without concern for the time, I sent him out to Milford, to the veterinarian there. That's a car accident. Cat came back. And he died. Our testing of Tridormal G was confined almost solely to cats because of 5,000 cats. <coughs> and snow. He already took it. There's food, there's liquor, there's everything. Everything you could want. And he taking mad pills with no water. How about it, kitty cat? So it's the hitman versus the cat. 
He might have been better off getting a, a dog catcher. Cat catcher. I don't know what you call them. You just got hit twice. How about turn on some of the lights? This is a hundred dollar shirt. A hundred dollars? Stone Cold Killer, baby. The truth is, you don't believe the old man. I'm about to say, you can't kill a regular cat in the dark. What do you say? Cat like, hell no. It's just a matter of time. Oh! I mean, you were there howling before the cat scratched you. You should have st st started with that. That cat don't want no nibble. Get the tool out. Get the tool out. You done. Hit him. Shoot. Oh, why are you talking? Just shoot him. Shoot the cat. Where are you? You stop narrating to yourself, but he got some mystical shit with him. You got a motherfucking high-powered handgun. What happened to your gun? Fuck. This is a different type of cat. Damn. That's a little stupid as shit. He just died. He just died right there. Yeah. Which one was that? He is trying to read. Hey, how long you gonna keep this shit up here? Uh, you look like one of your. You look like your brothers. Oh ho! Shit! It, it's shit! It's all shit! It's all shit! All of it! It's all shit! Damn, James Ramar. It be like that sometimes. Wyatt, you've got to convince her that I... I can't convince her of anything. Robert Klein. Wyatt, you're my agent. Not exactly. Oh. Being a monster is just credentials. We came all the way down here to tell him that. Jesus, what am I supposed to do now? I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm going to pay for this. I'm getting fucked up tonight. Uh, and that's what he did. Go. Yo, I ain't never left nowhere that drunk before in my life on anything. Oh my god. It's me. What the fuck was that? Jesus. Help me. Hell no. Oh, shh. No, please, man, what please, the no. fuck is that? Never tell anyone how I look. Never repeat what I have said. Bitch, this ain't B Street. Take a taxi. You don't see any taxis out here, do you? Man, she don't know you. She fine as hell walking around at night, though. In that Wild Wild West trench coat with no buttons on it. Like a style, old girl. Watch him, he used to be a game member. The Warriors. But, didn't work out. Man, you need to put some Neil Spawn on that oh, shit. Gosh. And you get to have Ray Gon Chan like Ray Don like that? She just popped up out of nowhere. Oh, wow, he done met you a freaky freaky. Why are you crawling on my shit, Carolyn? I don't even know you. <laughs> Did you hear that? I have to go out for a while. You gonna leave her in your house? Man, I thought she had She don't even know you. She gonna be gone when you get back, bro. I understand. That shit you saw last night was crazy. Other than that, I wouldn't leave right down in my house. I wanna go! He, so when he passed out, both of y'all were together. Yeah, I would've left too. 
I think you should stop drawing that shit. Something ain't right. I don't trust it. But the girl I'm staying with, her boyfriend came back and I... I didn't ask you any questions. You want to stay here? Fuck yeah, you can stay with me. Bring your fine ass in here. Now, we're talking about a couple of weeks. Because if we're talking about longer than that, I don't know. You're going to have to, you're gonna have to uh, chip in on something. You have a name? Victorine. Something told me that her friend had to be somebody that had to be like some real, some real, real. Oh, this is a great piece right here. And you only known her for like a week. Oh, that shit. Well, what the fuck is he doing there? Hey, Maddox. Nice work. Thanks. He look crazy. You know something, don't you? You just sober up, Maddox, before someone puts a match to your breath. So are you sorry you met me? You take care of me. She's pregnant, bro. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Are we gonna make this little bastard legitimate or what? You wanna marry her? Will you marry me? Oh yeah, I keep showing us that picture. Ten years later. Mom, look at my butt for me. He took our picture about a million times. Oh, this guy's aging back. And he loves his kids. And your agent is your uncle. He dumped you 10 years ago. Things have changed. Changed for the better, I hope. Yeah, look at you! You're getting money. Two beautiful kids. Why y'all working the trash route so late at night? God damn. Ten years. Ew! Hey! Ew! I hate this neighborhood. Can't get a cab here ever. I mean, you in the fucking slums. Oh, he made that shit. That's what killed Jer. Then it turned on me. So I never told anybody. Why are you telling somebody now? And then why are you telling me? That's what I just said. And the only thing I've never given you is the truth. And what's she gonna say? I know this motherfucker. I'm not making this up. I'm telling you the truth. What? Ah. Uh. You promised you'd never tell. Uh. She's the monster! Oh, oh shit! Oh. Uh. Oh, I just gonna peel the whole wig off. Oh, please stop it. Just change back. Change back my ass. Oh, this bitch is the shit. You idiot. No! And the kids are gargoyles too. God damn. And that. Boy, oh, that's some ugly kids. You still out there trying to find a cab out there? Get your ass in the cab. Get in the cab. Thank you. I don't know what that was, sir. Take me across town, around town, over town, downtown, uptown. Take me all the way over there. Oh, wow. And that's that. Yeah, what a shitty story. Timmy's older brother got sick. Timmy had to go around collecting. And Timmy went to his one house. Oh shit! Oh! I just love happy ending. That was fairly easy. You tell me you just as bad as a woman is. The nineteen ninety horror comedy tales from the dark side. An anthology movie. Uh, I had a good time. An anthology movie. Uh, I had a good time. I kind of saw the last one coming though. I kind of saw it coming, and it wasn't even because Ray Don Chan had Ray Don Chan had popped up at the end. It was just how easy they fell in love, and then we went ten years later. I was like, Nah, she got something to do with the thing. The girl, go, go, the mummy. This felt like a tale from the crypto, but I, I remember tales from the dark side on 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 TV. But I don't remember were they together or these two separate different. They just both happened to be anthology movies. 
down in the comments, somebody let me know what's the connection between these two. Right? I'm kind of dusty, rusty on that. But I had a good time with this. Great Patreon request to my brother Mike. Michael, fantastic. We got more to cover. We're going to discover what more we've got. Until next time, it's next time. Hold on, I'll be right back. Don't mess with me.